Hey guys, what's going on? It looks like uh, we are officially official. I guess I'm giving you guys a tour of my bathroom right now, but uh, wife is uh, working from home, so uh, I don't have access to my office right now. I got my little man here in my arms, and he's sleeping away while I do this, but we are officially official. Lucas Raymond, a Detroit Red Wing. Uh, the era has begun. It is extremely <laughs> exciting, I think, for us. Uh, as we have been searching for something to be excited about. It's been rough the last couple of years. You kind of pick a guy here or there. You hope that um, while he's certainly exciting, you hope that like a guy like Joe Valeno gets a sniff. Uh, you hope for some exciting games, but this is it. Like this is what we've been, uh, th this is what we've been waiting for. This is the thing that you can officially just get stoked about. Lucas Raymond, Mo Sider, already penned in uh, months ago. I mean, we, we knew that was happening, but for this to be uh, for this to be the year we're going to get Lucas Raymond and Mo Sider, it's exciting. And uh, you know, you don't want to get too hyperbolic, uh, but certainly when we're surrounded all the time by uh, rough games and. Anybody that's about to throw up, I do apologize. Uh, again, keeping the little guy asleep here. Um, <laughs> we, we uh, where was I? I guess I'm just too excited. Um, I, you know, last night uh, we do our recording. Uh, you get a little hyperbolic and think about how excited you want to be. I, I was super stoked and uh, gave my hot takes on the power play, but none of that happens if, if Lucas isn't... Uh, Lucas isn't on the team. I, I, I think there's, there's not too much, you know, we, we continue to just like punt the ball a little bit because even, uh, even now we're going to say we have, we have three uh, Calder finalists, but even if it was, was two guys that could fight for the Calder and we were just talking about Nadelkovich and, and Cider, I mean, we're still playing that game of um, if things don't work out, I think we're all pretty comfortable saying that Cider's pretty young but this this feels different. This is this is kind of like um, with with Lucas getting the shot, and I, I think I think sooner than than we might have guessed, and maybe it's because of the Verana injury. But um, this is just this is this feels different. This feels like we should be excited about it. Um, like we should we should be more excited than just saying, "All right, new season starts this Thursday." More excited than than I would be if it was Mo Siders. Uh, only going to be Mo Sider's first game. So uh, all of this wrapped together. Um, <laughs> super stoked for it. Uh, I can't wait till we can hear from Lucas and, and see how excited he is. Um, how about uh, practice lines, right? He's he's uh, Lucas Raymond practicing on the first line with uh, Bertuzzi and Larkin. <sighs> it just... Like, this doesn't mean... Stanley Cup. This doesn't mean playoffs, but, um, you know, for the sake of us wanting to usher in a new era, for the sake of us, um, you know, getting tired of the losing uh, and needing something to be stoked about, this this is it. This is how we can get stoked. This is this is like by a jersey, right? Level of stoke. Like, let, let me know, you guys in, in the comments, uh, I see a couple of you have popped in there. Like, uh, how, how exciting is this? Like, I, I just... I don't know. Um, I'm sweating here because I'm, again, keeping the little guy uh, satisfied by bouncing around a little bit. Uh, hey, Tristan, what's going on, man? Um, you know, I, I think this is good, too, that we got a little bit of uh, bad news today. Bobby Ryan uh, is not moving on with the Red Wings. I I, I mean, we, we had a whole segment last night dedicated on the podcast uh, about how I was wrong about how there was space for Bobby Ryan. And I made mention of how he definitely played well enough to earn a spot and on, and on an NHL roster. Um, so I, I for sure a thousand percent thought he was in there. Um, Beth Dar, I'm pretty happy with it. That, all right. And I, I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm in the future. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, happy with Lucas Raymond. Uh, uh, it could be you're okay with the Bobby Ryan uh, release. Um, I don't know. <sighs> that one doesn't hurt me as much anymore now that we know it's official. 
<laughs> uh, Michael Scripp, it'll be great watching both Cider and Raymond progress. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be super uh, fun to watch both of these guys. I, it's so funny, like, um, we see, like, Edvinson playing well. <laughs> I'm immediately excited to see him play. I, I could have just gone into this season and just been, you know, we, we could have been happy with just getting a Mo Cider, but now that it's Lucas Raymond, it's like it's a... It's like it's a whole new thing. Um, it's like uh, a new level of excitement. Uh, that It's almost like a disservice to Mo because Mo, in his own right, I mean, we've been watching him in the SHL play for like, uh, you know, an entire season. And we saw one of the best performances by an SHL defenseman. <laughs> we were all super stoked. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like, ah, Mo, you're old news. Like, sure, you'll be, you'll be a Norris candidate, but uh, it's, it's old news. We, we knew you were going to be on the team. There's nothing to be excited about there. Um, <laughs> I just, of course, but uh, as, as uh, I try to do. But, um, yeah, I guess not, not too much to get into here. I'm just glad that uh, I got a couple uh, of uh, my buddies here. Uh Glad you guys, Fethdar, Mike, Tristan, glad you guys are excited about this, like I am. Um, you know, Valeno is another guy that uh, didn't didn't make the team. Um, I had, uh, I guess I had a poor way of putting that when I was speaking to Max Boltman a couple episodes ago when I said uh, he's just he's just not making the cut, which is inaccurate in the sense that. Uh, you know, certainly he's doing enough to look like an NHL forward. I, I just, you know, from where Lucas Raymond was um, going above and beyond uh, trying to impress us, I just felt like he was doing enough to be an NHL forward, but we didn't, we didn't get our socks blown off, which is kind of how I felt like it would have needed to look for them to go, yes, he can have a spot here. Um, but uh, Mike, I think he just threw in there. Um, he'll be on his way. I think, the and and you know you don't want to see anybody get hurt we know somebody will second somebody gets hurt joe valeno back on this team no doubt about it um i i saw someone trying to explain it online um and i of course skimmed it instead of uh, going a little bit deeper into it but for the sake of moving players and risking them later this was this was just the right way to go with joe so send them down now, and then when there is an injury, bring them back up instead of, uh, especially instead of not having a sure roster spot for him, you know, to start the season where he absolutely should uh, should be playing hockey. So get him going in Grand Rapids. Injuries are bound to happen. Joe gets his spot. Um, shoot, I gotta figure out. <laughs> I'm missing, uh, there it is. Sorry, Tristan, I missed uh, your comment there. I think Stevens will earn himself a third-line center spot by the end of the year. Uh, why does it disappear? <laughs> this guy is growing to be my favorite wing uh, next to Larks and Ray. Um, I, yeah, I think uh, I patted myself pretty hard on the back last night uh, about him eventually turning into everybody's uh, replacement for the void of, um, not, not talent wise, but, uh, just for the void that Glenn Denning and, uh, and Helm, uh, place, <laughs> or, or I guess they left after uh, moving on, uh, Stevens is, was perfect to fill the void. Um, and I, I, again, I, I think, uh, talent wise, I'd, I'd rather have Stevens, uh, but for the sake of, I think maybe the gritty nature and style that uh, it's hard to not fall in love with. That's uh, in his, oh my God, his speed. Um, talk about having a guy that had the speed Helm used to have <laughs> and uh, being able to see that again. Yeah, like um, I, I think I think we're all going to fall in love with him. I, uh, I would love to see him progress so far to get onto the third line, but then that starts, that, that makes me question, you know, what happened to Rasmussen at that point. And I, I kind of hope, you know, is he going to be able to elevate uh, his game? Um, and I think we saw uh, like a random assortment, Puce and uh, Fabry uh, getting some center uh, time there. Got another 
Tristan, what do you got? Bar reminds me 100% Cogliano and Helm. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I think I'm yeah. There, there's there's like the silly game of of trying to replace Helm just for the sake of having that bottom six guy who you know the it's the effort that defines the guy's game first um so the joke is there just like stevens fills that void because we're going to have our grit star but uh yeah the like the actual style is is there to be uh to have that void uh replaced uh mike too many bodies to keep on the roster isn't a bad thing for the first time in a while things are starting to look up yeah how about that how about Joe Valeno still looked good in the preseason. And I, I, again, say, you know, he had to blow socks off to, to make the team, uh, to have them justify it so that he could have an every night roster spot. Um, <laughs> and for anybody joining now, I'm bouncing cause I got my little, uh, sweet boy in my arms here, but, um, uh, it, it, it is super telling uh, of how we are progressing in the right direction that we have these guys we think are playing well enough to get a spot in, in art. And uh, I think I just saw Eric in there uh, mention Bobby Ryan. Still confusing that Ryan didn't make it. I, I would just come back to, and I, I mentioned this in the last episode, and I used it as my reasoning that I thought Ryan wouldn't get a spot. Oh, I got got a little arm coming in. Uh, why he wouldn't get a spot, and I'm going to stick to that. Was Steve Eiserman making the comment? The success this season is going to be about the youngsters getting minutes and looking like they're developing and progressing. And I just don't know if you know with Ryan playing as as well as he did and so well that last night I said, "Man, was I wrong? Ryan's got a spot on this team." <laughs> With as well, yeah, as well as he played, it's just, if, if Steve wants to go in that direction and he's going to judge this season's success by seeing, you know, the, the, the progress of, uh, of his young guys, um, I think, right, like, that's, that's the only connection I can really make at this point was, was you gotta, if you're going to create this strategy for the season going forward, like, you're going to say, Jeff Blash is still coaching this team, right, um, we're not, we're not looking for wins or losses. And if you define this team to be going in that direction, would Jeff still be here? Uh, pretty easy to argue he wouldn't be. So you gotta, you got to stick to, at this point, what we've been told and Steve's strategy for this season is young guys in development in minutes. So I think that's, that's where Bobby falls off. It's sad. It is a super huge bummer. Um... And, you know, talking with Max a couple episodes ago, like to him, it was like, why not both? And uh, I agree with him. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it is funny, too, because we're also talking about names like Nemistikov and Gagne uh, on the team. And, um, you know, it's probably just you don't want to ruffle feathers at that point either. Like you're trying to build a culture and you have guys that already have the contracts. And are you going to drop? Are you going to drop Gagne and sweet our sweet boy to Mystikov <laughs> and and slot in Bobby Ryan on the wing? I I don't know if that looks great. I don't know if that's how you want to for a team that's not going to be gunning for the cup. I don't know if you want to kind of have that that view um, from like a front office perspective. Uh, but yeah, just to get back on point, Lucas uh, making it on the team officially. I, it's going to be tough not to buy a Lucas Raymond jersey. I, I, I tell you that. Like this is this is that exciting. But uh, all right, little guy, he is uh, not having a good time right now. He is kicking. He's trying to grab the phone. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, let me know what you think uh, about Lucas Raymond in the comments. Of course, I'll be able to keep up in the comments once uh, I get this little guy down. Yeah, isn't that right? Yeah, you hate when I'm typing away in the comments. Um, so we'll keep the conversation going there. So everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, and of course, a new episode coming up on Wednesday. We'll do a full preview of the, uh, wings and lightning game. And, uh, we'll, we'll actually be there. If you guys uh, want to grab a beer, uh, we'll be at little Caesars arena. I hope uh, we'll meet a couple of you guys and uh, we'll update where we're at, uh, in the arena at the time. All right. Thanks guys. See you.